Let's move to Nigeria, which is set to acquire Super Tucano A-29 warplanes and weapons from the United States after President Donald Trump's administration formally agreed to the deal. U.S. Ambassador to Nigeria formally served consent notice to the Nigerian Air Force on Tuesday. CGTN's Kelechi Mekalam has more. The deal includes 12 A-29 Super Tucano warplanes and weapons, Altogether, Nigeria will spend close to $600 million on the procurement, which also includes servicing. Nigeria and U.S. Air Force officials will meet early January to discuss early delivery of the aircraft. Nigeria is expected to sign a procurement agreement and make payments before February the 20th. The package that the Nigerian government is going for is inclusive of the aircraft itself, um, weapons that it carries, um, training, uh, of uh, both the pilots and the maintenance crew. Um, we're also talking about spears, the aircraft spears that will go with it, as well as um, setting up um, an infrastructure for the maintenance of the aircraft in Nigeria here. So it's a total package. So the moment they, they are delivered with the necessary spears and the um, and the munitions, they are of course uh, combat ready. The base price of a Super Tucano is around $10 million. That's just the basic aircraft. Ordinarily, 12 of them would cost Nigeria only $120 million. But the fact that Nigeria is willing to spend close to $600 million means it's going for the high-end configuration that comes with recognizance and combat capabilities. The U.S. had earlier frozen a deal to supply aircraft and weapons to Nigeria over rights abuses. President Buhari inched closer to securing a deal last year, but former President Barack Obama delayed the sale after Nigerian Air Force bombed a refugee camp in the Northeast. The military later said the attack was erroneous and apologized. It has also been investigating cases of human rights violations raised against it, and all that seems to have earned it some confidence. But what advantage does the military stand against Boko Haram with these new aircrafts and weapons? It's an aircraft that comes on board with what we call precision munitions, uh, which means um, weapon target acquisition will be much better than it is. Uh, it's also an aircraft that comes with modern avionics systems, which we call the glass cockpit system, which makes um, navigation and flying much more comfortable. And it also has uh, quite a number of other advantages too. Uh, without doubt, uh, the coming on board of the Super Tucano aircraft um, portends a good omen for the Nigerian Air Force. Boko Haram insurgents continue to pose security challenge in the Northeast years after the government said the insurgents were technically defeated. The U.S. sees defeating Boko Haram as a strategic move in curbing extremism in the West African region and the Sahel. President Trump has pledged to step up military aid to combat extremism in the region where extremism has festered for decades. Boko Haram is blamed for killing tens of thousands and displacing over six million in the Chad Basin. Kelechi Amekalam, CGT and Abuja, Nigeria.